The Havoc Cooling Pad is the number one best-selling cooler on Amazon and a great addition for any laptop. It currently retails for $39.99 and there are three color options available. Maintaining good thermals is extremely important for electronic longevity. Proper airflow and cooling is easy to achieve on desktop systems while it is often a challenge for laptop users. Special thanks to Havoc for sending this unit out. We're going to be reviewing this in today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. Inside the box you have the cooler itself, a USB 2.0 cable, and some product documentation. The laptop cooler features a metal mesh top plate with a plastic base which is really lightweight and sturdy for the most part but there is a little bit of give. It is too height adjustable with kickstands that feature rubber feet. The rubber feet are recessed into the kickstands and the body of the cooler preventing them from slipping off during transit. There are two USB ports available however one USB port will be connected to the laptop while the other serves more as a USB pass-through port. There is a power switch and indicator light available for the LED fans. Unfortunately the LEDs are powered on with the fans and cannot be turned off while using the cooler. The cooler features three large 110 millimeter fans that that spin at 1100 RPM and are whisper quiet. Have it advertises 65 cubic feet per minute of airflow. In comparison, Corsair LL series 120 millimeter fans for desktops are rated for 63 cubic feet per minute. In our experience, we found the fans were mostly quiet as advertised and nothing compared to the noise levels during gameplay on your typical gaming laptop. Now let's go ahead and talk about the coolest actual performance. We were actually surprised at our findings. We utilized a CPU benchmark Cinebench with our Dell Latitude 7390 in two different scenarios, without the cooler and with the cooler. Without the cooler, we had an average temperature of 96.11 degrees Celsius, and with the cooler, we had a lower temperature of 93.96 degrees Celsius. Now, these are some pretty solid performance numbers. However, we ran the exact same test with our 2020 Razer Blade 15 gaming laptop and got completely different results. Without the cooler, we had an average temperature of 65.72 degrees Celsius and with the cooler we actually got a higher temperature of 70.28 degrees Celsius. We hypothesized that the cooling fans actually impeded the airflow of the razor blade which is a performance oriented laptop with an already sophisticated cooling system. Overall the cooler does have a recommendation but only for specific applications. If you're someone that's using your laptop for general productivity you might be able to benefit. On the other hand if you're using a high performance laptop for gaming or other tasks with a high CPU load you may actually be disrupting the airflow of your laptop. That's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and support the channel by subscribing. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I gotta go eat some rice. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is Lil Rice Muncher Gaming, signing off. Thanks.